Hey guys, it's me, the Tech Man. Welcome to another video. In this video, let's uh, do the review of the Linear Joyce 14.1 and the Lake Olimax 2. <laughs> So guys, here I have the Leica Lemax 2 with me here. Let's go to the settings and let's go to the about phone. Here as you can see, it's running on the latest Android 7.1.2 Nougat or on the ROM of CM14 or also called as the Lineage OS 14.1. Here you can see the Lineage OS logo. As you can see, the Android security patch is on 5th April 2017. That's pretty much it. It's pretty good. It's been up to date. You can you can update your Lineage OS on the Lineage OS updates. Here it's 14.1. You can check it manually or as your time preferred. The phone is pretty snappy as you can see. There's no lag, no issues. The phone is pretty good no problem so here we have the Le echo branding and now we have the linear joes boot up animation which is pretty good looking which is pretty good looking again so let's wait and watch so we have the lineage of OS and it approximately to 27 seconds. So now let's come to the pros and cons of installing this ROM and some of the information you need to look out before installing this ROM. So coming to the pros, you get the pretty latest Android and the phone is snappy as you can see. There's no time lag or no delay, no lag, nothing else. The pros are a bit on the heavier side. So now let's come to the cons. Um, the major con is you won't be able to get the Geo Vivo LTE, that is a voice over LTE, to make calls from Geo. You can use the Geo 4G app, there's no problem, but you won't be able to get the Geo LTE. Now, as you can see, the fingerprint scanner takes a bit of a while and it doesn't detect sometimes. It takes a bit of a while as you can see sometimes it detects sometimes it doesn't detect and the fingerprint scanner is pretty pretty slow on this ROM I don't know they need to optimize it for the future updates and you won't find any option of the on-screen navigation buttons so as you can see we have a single core score of 1801 and a multi core score of 1320 so here you can check out the statistics and it's pretty much behind the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge and uh, OnePlus 3 it has been OnePlus 3 and you can just check out the single score and multi core scores and you can pause the video at any time and look at the graphics graphic scores coming down you can just pause the video and look at for by yourself Remember this phone has a 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gig gigabytes of storage with an Adreno 530 GPU. The camera samples. Coming to the battery usage, the battery optimization on this ROM is pretty pretty bad as you can see. Uh, barely you can get uh, full charge uh, from 100 to 10 or 5 percent from morning 9 to 6. So the battery performance is pretty pretty bad on this ROM so you need to carry around a charger with you if you install this ROM. So that's it for this video, please like, share and subscribe down below and I'll be doing a tutorial on how to install this ROM in a future video and I've dropped the links of the Lineageos ROM on this phone in the description below. So 
थैंक यू स्टे सब्सक्राइब स्टेट है कि पीस आउट